Okay, in this problem, a man pushes a small crate of mass 55 kilograms up a 200 meter long ramp, and the ramp is inclined at 12 degrees. So, before we solve this problem, let's draw a picture of what's going on here. So, I will draw a ramp. Here's the ramp. Okay. And it says it's inclined at 12 degrees. Let's call that theta. Okay, and there's my 90 degree angle right there. And then here is the box, the small crate right there. Okay, and then I can lightly sketch in some axes here that are tilted, and then draw in that line, just like we did before with free body diagrams. In fact, let's draw the free body diagram for this. So there is the crate right there, and this is the y direction, and that is the x, and on here, this will be the y direction, and this will be the x direction. Okay, so it looks like I have a normal force. So, put that there. And it looks like I have um, a weight, and the weight looks to be in this direction over here. And I'm gonna use F sub G to denote the weight, because I'm going to be talking about work, and I don't want to have two W's floating around in the problem, so we'll call that F sub G for gravitational force. And if that's theta, then that means that this angle must be theta, which is this angle right here. So there's my theta. Okay. And then the man is pushing the crate up the ramp, and we want the minimum amount of work needed, so... Um, Let's put his applied force on this diagram. Now the minimum amount of work, well, I think the best option would be if he pushed it right up the ramp. If he was pushing at any other angle, um, that seems like it might take more work. I mean, we can, we can kind of look at the equations and figure that out, but I'm gonna put his applied force right there. So he's pushing it up the ramp. And then in part A, there is no friction, so we don't need to worry about that. And now we can do the sum of the forces in the x and the sum of the forces in the y. So the sum of the forces in the x direction. So what do we have here? Well, we have our applied force. And then we have the x component of the weight, which is f, g, and that's going to be sine theta. Okay. And let's see, is this accelerating? Well. If we want the minimum amount of work to push it up the ramp, we don't want to accelerate it. We want to just have it go up at a constant speed. So I'm going to say that that's equal to zero. And then we can do our sum of the forces in the y direction. So that would be the normal force minus the y component of the weight. And again, that'll be zero, not accelerating in the y direction. Okay, and now we need to calculate the work Okay, so we should probably figure out what the angle is in this case. So remember, work, and we want the work done by the man as he's pushing it up, so this is the work done by the applied force. Work done by the applied force is the magnitude of the applied force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the smaller angle between the applied force and the displacement vector when they're placed so their tails coincide. So let's figure out what that angle is. So if we're pushing it up the ramp, our displacement's going to be up the ramp. Okay, sounds good. And if we're pushing it in the same direction as the ramp, well, then the applied force and the displacement are in the same direction, and our angle is going to be zero degrees. So, uh, and even though we have an angle of 12 degrees right here, don't assume that that's the same angle that's in the definition of work. In fact, oftentimes it's not, as we saw right here. So in this case, our angle is actually zero degrees. Uh, but don't worry, we're still going to use that angle that's in the ramp here uh, and part of the problem because it, it does show up here in our equations for the free body diagram. Okay, so now we can calculate what the work is. So the work done by the applied force is the magnitude of the applied force times the displacement times the cosine of phi. Okay, so what is the applied force? Well, the applied force, if I solve for it right here, is Fg sine theta. So I'm just going to plug that in right here. Fg sine theta. And then 
put that in parentheses, and then I have my displacement D, and then I have the cosine of the angle. Now this is just the weight. So this is mg, and I'll move that d out front also, sine theta, cosine phi. So now that you can see why I use phi to use uh, in the definition of work, because usually you have maybe more than one angle in the problem, so in order to avoid confusion, I call one theta and call the other one phi. Okay, I think I'm ready to plug in. So I know the mass. So the mass, if we go back up to the top here, let's see, the mass was 55 kilograms, and the displacement was 200 meters, and the angle theta was 12 degrees. Okay, that's everything I need to know. And so the mass was 55 kilograms, and then G is 9.81 meters per second squared, and my displacement is 200 meters, times the sine of the angle, which is 12 degrees, times the cosine of zero degrees, because remember, five is zero degrees. Okay, now I can plug this into the calculator, so let me do that right now. So I have 55 times 9.81 times 200 times the sine of 12, and you want to make sure that you are in degree mode and not radian mode. And if you do this, you get 2.24 times 10 to the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, times 10 to the 4 joules. So that's, that's quite a lot. But uh, for the problem, it makes sense. We're pushing a crate up a ramp. That's going to take a fair amount of work.